way to skip class. Just not mine. Skip class, I'm gonna staple myself to the floor. Before we dive in, I've been asked to plug the criminology department's mentoring program. We work with at-risk kids here in Neptune. Our philosophy is that it's better to prevent crimes through intervention than be forced to solve them later. My teaching assistant, Timothy Foyle, will take the names of those who would like to volunteer. Here's your reading list for the semester. All should be available used at the co-op. What about your book, Dr. Landry? Profiling is an upper-level course. Gotta walk before we run. <laughs> All right, what do you say we start off the semester with a little bit of ridiculous fun? Murder on the Riverboat Queen. If Tim hands you an envelope, that makes you a passenger and a witness on the Riverboat Queen. Go ahead, open your envelope. It'll give you all what you saw. If you're the murderer, you're giving your cover story. Now, if you're not given a card, that makes you one of the Pinkertons brought on board to solve the case. You can question any of the passengers. The current record for solving the case is 16 minutes, courtesy of the amazing Mr. Foyle. <laughs> All right, detectives. You may begin questioning your passengers now. The hour of eleven and eleven Celtic night. <clears throat> yes? Dr. Lander expects everyone to participate. Is it possible you ended up in the wrong class? Your academic advisor can get you in something else, you know. Elementary education, maybe. I think it's okay to read magazines over there. They even cut them up sometimes, make little collages. <laughs> <laughs> I know who did it. D Dr. Landry. What you got? Wait, this girl says she's got it. But she hasn't moved from her seat. And you are? Veronica Mars. So, Veronica Mars, who are you going to send to prison for the rest of his natural-born days? The blind, yet not really blind, fiddle player, Rutherford Stiles. <sighs> Congratulations, Veronica. All right, everybody, you can stop. We have a winner and a new record holder. Six minutes. So, how'd you figure it out? Murder on the Riverboat Queen was a murder mystery in a box game made by Wigwam Toys in the late 80s. Fans of the game set up message boards online that gave away details. I just ignored all the spoiler alerts, which I know is kind of douchebaggy, but... The game is set in the 1890s. You can't use the internet. Was that a rule? It wasn't a rule. And there are two possible killers in the box. I mean, you just took a 50-50 stab, didn't you? Sorry, no. The other killer is Countess McGee. Dr. Landry just asked me who I was going to send away for the rest of his natural-born days. That kind of sold me on Blind Rutherford. There is one thing I can't figure out, though. What did you do for the extra ten minutes? 